Carol. Hey everyone, it's Carol, and I'm here with Catherine, the operations manager, who is trying to get Chaos's attention. Come on, baby. Come on. She's got some treats for Chaos, but Chaos is a little suspicious. I'm gonna go to the other side so that I'm not. Oh, you just got me. Okay. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> You're hey, so silly. Come here. Oh, look, it's really good stuff. Oh my goodness. Are you camera shy? Since when? Are you camera shy? Oh. Goodness. Hey, Mrs. Hey. Chaos was born. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky snacks. Sneaky snacks. <laughs> Sneaky snacks. Chaos was born in 2009. And she was born at a backyard breeder in Okeechobee, Florida. That woman is responsible, I think, for most of the servals and caracals that end up in private homes that end up being dumped later because the breeders never want them back. In her case, she was sent to another breeder in Ohio. And after the laws changed in Ohio, the woman refused to register her cats and so the, and she was keeping them in the basement. So the Ohio Department of Ag seized them and allowed us to bring them here and give them a forever home. There were three in that group. It was Chaos, Cyrus, and Zucari. Were you on that rescue? Mm -mm. This is better than a basement, huh? Way better. And there's room service. There's room service. You don't even have to leave your little bed. Lunch in bed. I know you're getting impatient now. You're like, okay, I'm getting closer because I'm impatient. <laughs> I want those snacks faster. There you go. And this is just an afternoon treat. She already had her breakfast this morning. All of the cats are fed in the morning. This is just snacks. Just snacks. About how long does it take to feed the 68 cats here, Catherine? Uh, with, let's see, four routes two to three people per route, about an hour and a half to two hours. And we were talking before we went live about how um, her mate, Cyrus, is not very good about operating conditioning. <laughs> he's he's kind of rude with treats. I think it's the stick. Like, he's, um, he's very food motivated. Um, and if you're just dropping food, it's not quite so bad, but the stick, he gets focused on the stick and wants to just grab the stick and loses focus on its treats and you're supposed to grab the meat. So he just gets focused on the stick at that point and wants the stick. It's more of like a toy or a challenge, I think, at that point. The reason I was asking about operant is I'm guessing nobody has been able to get her to allow them to comb her with a long nope. handled comb. <laughs> I have tried a couple times. She's got that little mat right there. She will come over and she'll take food off the stick, but the minute you try to touch her, like I'm trying to, she's like, nope. Yeah, she won't let you come anywhere near her with the actual like brush that we would use to grab that mat. I've tried a couple of times. I wonder if we could um, super angry. hang one of those brushing, you know, wire brushing mm -hmm. kind of things and maybe might put something to. on it she might want to rub on. Because it's such a little one. I bet I it know. could come off if it we could just, just get It might just come some... right off. And I thought I could just snag it off really quick, but it's pretty attached. <laughs> All right, pretty. Do you Does want to do you're a done? treat? And then we'll go see how Cyrus is doing. So what's next on her list? This there? is a blood sickle. Hey, 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 pretty. <laughs> you even know this whole thing blind. Ah. It's okay to come in front of me here. She is like, hey, hi. Come here. Oh, what does Catherine got? All right, I'm gonna toss it. Oh. All right, maybe if we walk away, it will find. Look. Check it out. <laughs> well, okay. So next up is Cyrus. Cyrus, Cyrus was oh, born in 2010, so he's a year younger than her. 
Oh, and Beecher. He actually brought something for yeah. Beecher, too. Hi. He's not always a big fan of snacks, so that's why I brought blood pickles, too. Are you sure you don't want snack? Maybe? Okay. Maybe a little bit of snack. <laughs> You're so delicate. He is. Beecher's a Savannah cat, and I think he arrived here last year. Mm -hmm. All of these guys came in 2017. Or did he come in 2018? He came in 2018. I think beginning of the year, actually. Yeah, the other guys came in 2017. Um, again, he Can was sold as a pet by a breeder here in Florida. Hey, beach, beach. And Savannah cats. Beach, beach. The early generation ones never work out as pets. Beach, beach. And you can't get to the lower generation ones without causing an awful lot of damage. Hey. With cats like him who end up peeing all over everything. And then end up being discarded. No, huh? This is not their regular meal. They're fed in the morning, and we were just talking before we went live. It's 90 degrees, and the cats are just like, oh, oh God. man, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> yes, um, the lady who bought Beecher had come to the sanctuary and taken a tour, and of course, on the tours, we always talk about how hybrid cats, well, all of the exotic cats, but including hybrid cats, shouldn't be purchased as pets because of the fact that they almost never end up staying in their homes. They end up being discarded or killed and the woman thought she could do it better and so she paid a fortune for the cat and she bottle raised it from or bottle raised him from the time that he was only a few weeks old and she tried for a long time I think five years mm -hmm. before she finally gave up about being attacked by, <laughs> by yeah. her pet. She had a lot of scars. She did, yeah. I can't believe he's eaten as much as he I is. know. What he's not stuff? usually a real hungry he's cat. He's not. He's not usually super interested in the snacks. So, kind of slender, so we like it when he wants snacks. He's pretty fussy about his food, considering he didn't come to us eating meat, he came eating cat food. So it was a little bit of a transition to get him to eat meat. So when he is eating meat, it always makes me smile. So I'm like, hey! <laughs> you're, you're doing cat things. You're doing cat I apologize for the calls that keep coming in. People don't know that we're live and that interrupts I the know. feed. Eating meat like a big boy. Please. Eating meat like a big boy. Uh, somebody asked what they eat in the morning. Oh, so uh, Beecher in particular, he really likes fish. And so he usually gets fish with his diet in the morning. He gets about uh, five to eight ounces of a mixture of fish and red sometimes, chicken. And then um, a meat we affectionately call mush, which is a carnivore diet. It's basically like a coarsely ground hamburger meat is what it looks like. But it has organ meat in it, it has bone, it has cartilage, all that kind of stuff. It also has vitamin supplements in it. That's kind of their vegetables. That's where they really get a lot of their nutrition from. And then he's actually a two a two a day or so if he doesn't eat all his breakfast in the morning, he gets offered the difference at night as well when we're out doing meds. You're not gonna need a snack tonight. You're doing good. Oop, that's a big piece. Well, let's see how you do. Big piece. Yep, you have teeth. <laughs> you make it work. Oh yeah, you got. You teeth. make it work. <laughs> Beecher's always a super popular cat on our tours because he's chatty, like a house cat. He likes to meow at everybody and say hi. Do you know how old he is? I'm thinking he's like five or six now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she had him five years. And we've had him, 
Happy year. <laughs> Happy year? I don't remember if he was close to being six when we got him or if he was just five. Yeah, if you go to bigcatrescue.org slash Beecher, you can find out his information. And the cat that we just did, the Caracal, if you go to bigcatrescue.org slash chaos, C-H-A-O-S, you'll find all of her details and video of the rescue. And then we got one last cat on our list, and that's Cyrus, Cyrus? who was also rescued Cyrus. with Sukari and Chaos. Rusty brown cat would not be able to hide in this stuff, but he manages. <laughs> I don't know if I can even see him around the corner there. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come closer. No problem there, eh? Oh! Yeah, see what I said about the stick? It becomes all about the stick and not about the meat. You illustrated that very well. Yeah! I know, I really want it to be about the meat, not about the stick. I know. Chaos and Cyrus had been kept together in that basement as a breeding pair, even though they're probably very closely related. Could even be brother and sister. They look pretty litters. cozy alike. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as soon as they came here, we separated them and spayed and neutered them. And we tried to put them back together, but that was not something that Chaos wanted. <laughs> so. Um, They've been separated since then. She definitely likes her own space. Cats are solitary by nature, so it's really rare when you find a cat that wants to spend time with another one. Goodness. I know. It's all about the stick. <laughs> Boy, is he strong. It's all about the stick. Pound for pound, these guys oh, are... Oh, hey, you broke my stick. stronger than we are. You broke my stick. I want that back. He's like, I oh, want no. that back. He's mine. I want that back. So now what she's trying to do is give him lots of treats so that he'll go after the treats instead of the stick. stick. The stick won't hurt him any. He chews no. on sticks in his enclosure all the time. <gasps> Offering Look lots of options. <laughs> Look at all the good stuff you're missing out Options. On. Oh, see? Oh, there, there you, you go. go. So you do want the meat. It's all about distraction. It's all about the distraction. Distracted over here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not back on the stick. Look at all those nummies. We've got lots of nummies. I lost my signal there for a minute. Uh oh. And we're back. Yes, Missy, it's a very good reminder why we don't pet them. <laughs> that could just have easily been an arm. Absolutely. Except bits and pieces of the arm would have come off a lot faster than the stick did. I think if you can just get it where it's not near him or if he forgets about it, you can yeah. probably grab it later. There you go. See, look at all the options you have. Right here. Right there. There you go. We have one here stuck on the fence. And here. I know. See, you want the food, but you get too attached to the stick. Too attached to the stick. <laughs> you guys can hear that roaring in the background. That's Nikita lioness. And the reason these guys are here in cages is because they were born in cages. And when they're born in cages, we can't set them free. It's not legal. And they don't know how to hide. They, they aren't native to this country. So the only thing that we can do is stop the breeding of them and that way they won't be in cages. So anytime you see somebody posing with a cub or showing off a picture of a cute little kitten, an exotic cat kitten, call them out on it because there's just no reason to be breeding them for life in cages. Oh, she got your I got stick. It <laughs> it's my stick again. You are too distracted. <laughs> of your success since we didn't see it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I did get it back. It's not the first stick he's broken. 
it's hard to make those sticks. It is hard to make those sticks. It's a lot of grinding on the end to make it all nice and pointy. I know. I keep wanting you to figure it out and you just don't figure it out. But we have to keep trying. We'll keep trying. Can you push that? Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe not without getting the stick Yeah, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to lose another part of my stick. There you go. Here, just piece right there. <laughs> No, you're just all about the stick. I also tried tongs with him because, you know, we do do tongs sometimes. And that was worse <laughs> because I don't, the metal is so bad for his teeth. And so I don't want him to bite the metal. It's that old blood tickle there too. Yeah, their homes are over 1,200 square feet. Hi. He and uh, Chaos and Cyrus have some really oh, oh, enormous There you go. Now you saw it. Gotta step on it first. I know, I'm taking the stick with me. <laughs> I'm taking the stick with me. Melis asks if they ever try to escape. <laughs> I'm sure if we open the door, they would escape. Well, we don't give them the option to try to escape. Missy, thank you for posting that link. That really does show a lot better for people what our cages look like. Whenever we do these live feeds, of course, we want the camera focused in as tight as we can on the cat, which makes everybody, for some reason, think that's all the space the cat has. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that one little square. We actually have a link called bigcatrescue.org slash top five for the top five questions that people always, always ask. And that's one of them is, why is the cage so small? I can only see four inches by six inches on my screen. We do not play with them. We don't touch them. They are wild animals, but we do give them things to play with. So we have an enrichment team that meets every Wednesday and they make all kinds of really cool enrichment that gets handed out throughout the week so that they have something different to do. Marlene, thank you for posting that link. Yep, he's on that pickle now. That is one of the things that our enrichment team does is make sure we always have frozen yummy treats. And I saw uh, Lauren and Beth Ann out handing out something. Was that mm -hmm. sickles? Yes. We have a set of cats that get sickles every day. Um, some of our older guys that we were trying to get some extra moisture in. So they're doing uh, daily sickles and then also handing out some just because sickles. <laughs> oh, this grass right in front of your face. Yeah, Lord and I uh, filled the freezer up this morning as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Definitely made a ton of sickles. We go through quite a bit of sickles, especially on these hot days. It just makes me smile every time I go around and I see you guys handing those <laughs> out and I think, oh, this has got to be the highlight of the cat. Well, second highlight of the cat's day. Eating is the first. Yeah, breakfast is always <laughs> the first highlight. But then to get a nice cool snack when it's so hot, that's going to be wonderful. Olivia, he is, he was born in 2010, so he's eight years old, and Chaos is nine years old. You can find out more about him at bigcatrescue.org slash Cyrus, C-Y-R-U-S. <laughs> he just realized you were there. Like, oh, hey. That little hollowed out sickle. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Catherine. Absolutely. We will see you guys next Monday. There's nothing else out there. Yes, there's one piece. I oh. just can't quite find it. Oh, oh. There Get we it. go. <laughs> You're too smart. It's like a little puzzle. Ah. Oh. This was one of my best.